All right. So, like I said, we'll look at uh, we'll look at a new G code, which is going to help us simplify uh, the program we wrote in the previous video. All right. So this is the same program I have over here, the previous one that I wrote. So quickly, let me change this to program number four. Okay. So everything is still the same over here. Now the new program we're going to look at is uh, the new code is what uh, we're going to look at is what we refer to as the can cycle. Okay. The can cycle. Now, if you are machining a particular component and you have a set of holes to drill and the features of the holes are similar and you have a number of them that is when can cycle comes in so instead of you to specify the depth of drill and the retraction point each and every time you drill a single hole you just have to specify it once okay then you keep feeding the program with the coordinates so when it gets to that coordinate, once can cycle is still on, as soon as it gets to that coordinate, it will drill. Then you feed it to the next coordinate, then it drills. So when you're done, then you turn can cycle off. So that is when we use it. When you have a set of holes to drill and the depth of drill is the same, the retraction point is the same, and you have a number of them, then can cycle comes in to simplify your work for you. Okay, so let's set how much let's make the CNC machine ready. So here is the things we need to do. So let me zoom it. We need to the edit mode program, then the program directory. Now let me add a new program over here, which is going to be four instead. Okay. So let me reset my two mags then. So onto slot one, I need a fresh stock over here with the same dimension. Okay, so everything is okay right now at this point in time. Let's come back over here. Okay, so let's look at how we use the can cycle. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, we're just going to go through uh, wherever we have this particular program over here, wherever we have this, the depth of drawing the refraction point, we're just going to take them out. And then we add uh, what we need. Okay, but first let me add what we need. We just have to specify it once. So can cycle is called once. So you just have to specify it once, then you feed the coordinates, then it takes care of the rest for you. And when you are done, you turn it off. <clears throat> okay. So this stays the same, this stays the same, this stays the same, this also stays the same. All right. So let me clear this first. Okay. So as soon as I move the two to this particular coordinate, okay, as soon as I move the two to this coordinate, so which is going to be this hole, which is going to be over here, the first hole over here, I want to drill, start my drilling from here. Okay. So as soon as I get to that coordinate, then I call can cycle over here. So let me put that here. Can cycle. All right. Then N6. Okay, so N6. Now what is the, the syntax for can cycle? What is the code? And how do we write it actually? So to call can cycle, to initiate can cycle, we use a general a G code, which is G81. Okay, so G81 turns can cycle on. G81 will turn can cycle on. Then what does it need? You need to give it the depth of drill, which is going to be negative one on this G as. Okay. Then is that all? No, that's not all you need. Now you also need to specify your return or what I usually call the retraction point. After it finished drilling, it should re the two should retract and come to which point. So that we specify with G99. Okay, so G99, then what does it also need? It needs an R value. So the R value is our retraction point. 
Okay, so we can you can see that is this same thing that we have over here. That is what we are specifying over here. So can cycle the depth of drill is what we have over here. And the retraction point, okay, we we'll want to retract the two bags after drilling. That is what we have over here. So G80 then specifies this, then G99, then the R. Okay, so you do this once and that is it. All you need to do is keep on specifying your coordinates. The next one, the next one, so you get to the end, then you turn can cycle off when it's finished drilling. Very, very simple. Okay, so with that done, I can move on and just get rid of these stuff. We don't need you anymore. Uh, we thank you very much for your service. But at this point in time, uh, we just found out a better way of doing things. So, thank you very much. And the last one over here. Okay, so you can see the length of the program has reduced drastically. That's one thing I love about CAN cycle. It helps us to reduce the length of our program. Okay, so let me change my numbering. It's going to be a 10, 11, 12. Then we should have 13 here. And the last one 14. So after this, then we add 15 over here. Okay, block number 15. Now G80, which is used to turn can cycle off. Maybe I have more things I want to do on that particular stock. So you turn it off so that you wouldn't have uh, the CNC machine drilling holes when you move to a new coordinate. Okay, so you turn that off. Then as usual, we turn off our spindle, then we rewind the program. So very, very simple. So that's it with can cycle. Very, very simple over here. Reduce the length of the program from 33 to 17. Okay, let me save. Go back to my simulation environment, which I've already set the system over here. So let me clear this, import my new program, okay, so 4, 14, and automatic mode, fire. You can see over here, same result, a different approach, okay? So that is the use of can cycle, how it can make life and work simpler for all of us. So which we have seen over here. So you can take out some time, try it and use it. It is going to help you a lot. So as always, stay safe and see you in the next video.